Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for UGC net preparation. Friends, in the last lecture we studied hardware and software. In the software section, we talked about operating system, system softwares and system utilities. Now friends, today we are going to talk about programming languages and the types of programming languages like low level language, medium level language and high level language. So let's begin. Now you all must be wondering what is programming language? Well, programming language is a language that communicates or talks with the computer. When people communicate with a computer, it is important to be very specific about what they are asking the computer to do. Programming languages are a tool that allows them to do just that. Often, English can be ambiguous and it can be very hard for the computer to determine intent. Now, programmers use programming languages so that they can specify exactly what they want the computer to do. A programming language is a set of instructions that can be used to interact with and control a computer. These languages are used to design websites, create apps, develop operating systems, control spacecraft and analyze data. Programming languages are necessary because computers can't understand English. So basically, programming languages bridge this gap by helping the programmers translate their commands into something that the computer can understand and execute. Now, programming language is divided into low-level language, medium-level language and high-level language. Friends, low-level languages are understood by computers. Here, low-level languages are referred to as low because they are very close to how different hardware elements of a computer actually communicate with each other. Low-level languages are machine-oriented and require extensive knowledge of computer hardware and its configuration. It is further divided into two categories, that is machine language and assembly language. Now machine language or machine code is the only language that is directly understood by the computer and it does not need to be translated. All the instructions use binary notation and are written as a string of ones and zeros. In order to understand this, let me explain the functioning of computers. Friends, computers are made of many tiny switches that can be either on or off. When a switch is on, it is represented by a 1. And when it is off, it is represented by a 0. Now these 1s and zeros are called bits. Bits are the fundamental language of nearly all computers. And every program must be translated into bits before it can be executed by the computer. Machine language is easier for the computer to understand but harder for the programmer to understand. This is because machine language is simply the language of machines, that is, bits. Sometimes programmers will develop programs directly with machine code. But because this is difficult to understand and tedious to type, it is more common to program using assembly or a high level language. Now we come to the assembly language. An assembly language is the first step to improve programming structure and make machine language more readable by humans. Now an assembly language consists of a set of symbols and letters. A translator is required to translate the assembly language to machine language. This translator program is called the assembler. It can also be called the second generation language since it no longer uses ones and zeros to write instructions. But instead, it uses terms like 
move add sub and end let us move on to high level language friends high level language is a more user friendly language it is a programming language that uses english and mathematical symbols like plus minus percentage and many others in its instructions when using the term programming languages most people are actually referring to high level languages high level languages are the language most often used by programmers to write programs it does not use zeros and ones high level languages use many more english commands and are significantly more readable than assembly or machine language it is worth noting that all of these are possible in assembly or machine language but high level languages make them much easier for the programmer to read write and debug some newer high level languages are scripting languages this means that they are not compiled or translated into machine language until just before the code is executed at run time examples of high level languages are c++ fortran java and python moving on to the next section that is language translator now friends imagine you are in a country and everyone around you is speaking a different language you would need a translator right similarly your computer also needs a language translator to convert high level language to language that your computer understands language translators convert the programming language into machine language so basically jo hamara end product hota hai output hota hai usko hum object code kehte hain whatever the end product is and the output is we call that object code there are three types of language translators first is assembler which converts assembly language into machine language that is in the form of zeros and ones then we have a compiler which compiles everything it converts the source code written in programming language into machine language now remember something here compiler converts the entire code simultaneously the next we have is an interpreter it also converts the high level language into machine language but it does this line by line and not the entire code simultaneously like a compiler so this is the basic difference between a compiler and an interpreter i hope this is clear till now to you guys that brings us to the end of this unit that's it from my side for this lecture we will meet soon in the next lecture till the time we meet next happy learning and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com